Colin Math. And this is Adventure Keeps Calling My Name, our cruise channel devoted to our love of travel and adventure and sharing those ideas with you. Tonight's topic is about having a playlist. I'm um, having a set of songs that is just for a specific thing. Um, I want to read you a couple of things. Trisha Yearwood had a song called The Song Remembers When that talked about how hearing a certain song took her back to a place in time. And Kenny Chesney, as I've already told you I love, um, has two different songs. One call, is called Live Those Songs Again, and the other is called I Go Back, about how hearing songs takes him back to a certain place in time. And I think that is a common element with humans that, you know, smell and, and, and hearing triggers real memories and real emotional responses. And because of that, I think that having a playlist for big events, special events, really will help you capture that in a bottle. Um, do you have anything to say, Matt? Yeah, I, I hadn't thought of this subject when you brought it up, but um, well, now that I'm thinking about it and I've thought about it just prior to us coming on here, um, Disney does a great job with that when you're yeah. walking through there. I don't know if anybody's Disney Park people, but... Uh, you're walking through certain sections of the park and you'll hear a certain style or a certain music and it just uh, makes you feel good. And then when you, when we're home, we listen to music from Disney occasionally and uh, it will just take you right back to that place and you feel kind of get that good feeling again. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Disney has like built their bread and butter on that. Um, when we went to Ireland just last summer? Last. Wow, just June. last last June. And I put together a playlist of Irish traditional music. And when we were in our rental van, which is mm -hmm. a whole other story, in our rental van driving around Ireland, I'd put that on. And now when I hear Irish trad music, I really feel it. I really see the green hills and the sheep grazing and the small villages. And just hearing any any Irish tribe music, St. Patrick's Day about did me in this year because I missed <laughs> Ireland so bad because we had such a great time there. And the song remembered when. Yeah. yeah. We have a, a road play a road trip playlist. And the first song we always play on a road trip is Um On the Road. On the Open Road. On the Open Road. From the Goofy movie. Yeah. And we did a road trip to Mobile, Alabama couple summers ago with um, our adult kids, our younger kids, my sister, my nephews, my nieces, my great nieces, grandkids, you know, the whole shoot and match. And we were in this huge 14, 15 passenger van and we put that on and all of our kids started singing along. Yeah. Because yeah. that's when you start a road trip. They knew vacation was underway and now it's time for fun. Yeah. Yeah, so that's always that's always a good time. Yeah, and when we went to France, I did my best to put together what I think of as French music, like La Vie en Rose by Louis Armstrong, and that style of, you know, cafe music mm -hmm. from France really makes me think about it. Yeah, yeah. Did everything bad? Well, just those, those, those things make it pay off to have a playlist. And you don't have to have the same music every trip. No, absolutely not. But uh, tailor it towards the destination and the, the activities you're doing. Yeah, and sometimes the thing you put on your playlist is already an established memory. Yeah. For instance, Matthew, where were you the first time you heard Who Let the Dogs Out? Oh, boy, we were down on a cruise on a yellow bird, yellow bird party boat. Party boat. The rum punch And we never yellow. heard that song before, and I thought, ah, this must be a local song that they only play down here. Well, we get back to the States, and they're playing it on the radio. Yeah, yeah, I had no idea where I heard it, but that's where I heard it first. And now, every time we have the misfortune of hearing <laughs> who let the dogs out, we are back on the Yellowbird party boat. Yeah. You know? And when you hear when you hear the song Sister Christian by Night Ranger, what do you think about? You're going to have to help me out. I'm going to help you out. Okay. <laughs> High school graduation, 1984, all night bowling. Friday night videos okay. dedicated yep. that to the class of 84. Yep. Sister Christian always takes me back to the Boulderdrome all night bowling on graduation night. Yep. So those songs already have established memories and so they belong on playlists. If, if I was doing a high school reunion playlist, I would for mm -hmm. sure put Sister Christian on there because mm -hmm. that to me was high school. Yeah. Gra graduation, not high school itself. But so yeah, playlists, you know, it's a simple and really inexpensive way to 
to um, bottle your memories, so yeah, to speak. Yeah, you can take music with you so easy now on your iPod or on your iPhone, mm -hmm. and those portable speakers are so cheap now. It's easy to do. Yeah, you sit out by the pool, and you, you put on your cruise playlist, and yeah, I'm in not so warm western Pennsylvania, <laughs> but my mind is on vacation in the Caribbean. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, what are some songs that take you back someplace specific? You know, let us know in the comments because we really want to hear from you. We really want to know what you think. And maybe something you tell us will trigger something in us, too. Right. Yeah. You know, so, um, yeah, share with us like we're sharing with you. And until next time, I'm Jamie. And I'm Matt. And adventure is out there. So go on out and have an adventure.